Yeah, here we are today in a beautiful rainy day in New Jersey out at Body Works Hardcore Fitness and we're going to give Muscular Development Polar a little treat today and see what we got. This is a gym I come to and train most of my workouts. It's a little more hardcore, more inner city type of gym. And uh, my training partner here, Rob Yules, we're going to bang out some chest today and uh, see what we can do. Here we are with Rodney Roller and Rob Buells. How are you doing, guys? Doing well, doing well. Uh, getting ready to warm it up a little bit, see what we can do today. Going to be doing a little bit of chest training. Uh, we're going to try to do a little legs, but I've uh, been hitting my legs really hard this year. Rob and I teamed up, and he kills, really kills the shit out of his legs. So uh, I was hitting him a little too hard, and I tweaked my upper hip flexor. So I'm taking a little easy. So we're going to try hit chest a little different today. Um, I'm contemplating going in the uh, Ronnie Coleman Classic, Clash of the Titans, the bench for reps. So I'm going to see if I'm how I'm feeling. I haven't really tried it yet, so I'm going to see what I got today. So tell me, how is it to train with this guy? It's like I know he's crazy strong. It's an adventure. Uh, I try to keep up with him. Uh, he definitely pushes me on the weight a lot. Um, you know, it's like, you know, we got together, I was doing a lot of legs with him, like he said, and um, he's been doing pushing me on the chest and, and some of the other stuff. He, he moves a lot of weight, he really does. He's, he's an animal. So, well, let's see what happens. Right. Yeah, he's getting ready for the, the, the Junior Nationals, correct? I think so, yeah. Um, this guy stays lean year round, he looks tr tremendous, but uh, he's he's my better half. I'm the better looking one, he's the more rugged looking one, so. I bring, I bring the ugly to the whole thing, you know. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about Junior Nationals, what weight class and what you're planning to do. Uh, I was a heavyweight last year, I took fourth in the heavyweight. Uh, this year, I, I was really having a hard time squeezing under last year, so I think I'm going to probably be a super heavyweight. That's sort of where I probably land this year. And um, It's a great show, uh, it's a lot of fun, Chicago's a cool area and um, it brings out some, some decent competitors, so it's a lot of fun. Awesome, good luck with that and for now, let's, let's see what you guys can do. Let's see what we got. You know, yeah, not promising any great numbers today. I'm not going heavy today. It's more about the intensity and uh, keep moving away, keep the high reps. We're going to do some drop sets probably at the end. Yeah. So just hit the chest a little differently. Awesome. So okay, guys, you're in for a treat. Let's see what those guys can do. It's going to be kick ass for sure. Well, what I'm doing right now is, like I said in the beginning, is I, I'm trying to change my workouts up a little bit. I mean, I usually do, you know, pyramid up to a much heavier weight. But, like, as of now, I'm contemplating going into the Ronnie Coleman Classic, the uh, Clash of the Titans. So I wanted to see where I stand. I just started back heavier training after a good three months of taking easy, giving my body some rest. So I wanted to see today, you know, what kind of reps I had left in me. So what we did today was, you know, started out, warm up. I warm up very slowly and um, pyramided up to, you know, 315. I believe I got a good 30 reps. That 31st wasn't, you know, a little help on that one. So I was pretty impressed the fact that I haven't done reps in months and I'm still able to bang out 30. So basically what I was working on today in that workout is I'm trying to figure out where I stand if it's if I'm in the ballpark of going in and breaking the record for the Clash of the Titans. So the record right now stands at 28 reps. It's been there for three years and Jeremy Hornstra holds the record for 28 reps. So I just beat his record today and I haven't trained for it. So I feel pretty confident. Um, Rob and I, like I said, we've been training together for a few months now and um, he's able to push me a little bit. You know, uh, in the past I was always the one pushing other people. So I think we've had a pretty good team up, uh, tag team there for uh, pushing each other. 
So I mean, what we did today is we went through the bench, pyramid it up, and then you know started to hit the different muscle fiber, the deep muscle fiber, pyramid them back down, getting a good stretch like you saw at the end. Uh, um, very slow contracted reps, you know, on the way down. Uh, then we went to uh, some decline. Declines I haven't done in probably. When's the last time you've done the declines? About years. We both. did them about a month ago or three weeks ago, and right. you know, besides that, it's been probably ten years since I've done declines. But one day, you know. Like I said, we come into the gym and it's, it's never a plan. I mean, that's why I tell people, they write to me on the forums and they say, well, what kind of routine do you follow? What kind of split? I really don't have an answer for that. You know, my answer is, it's instinctively training. You know, yeah, I notice you train exactly the same way I do, like very instinctively. Every workout is different. You come in without a plan and just keep, try to shock the body, right? Exactly. You know, you, you have to keep your body guessing. A lot of people say, well, I hit a plateau. You didn't hit a plateau. You get stuck in a rut you know change it up so sometimes I do come into the gym with a plan of what I want to train but sometimes I say oh it's arm day I go and I start warming up I just don't feel it you know maybe last time I hit them pretty hard they feel still you know the first set feels heavy I know that the muscle is not fully recovered and I go into something else same with chest training you know today I haven't you know followed that routine I don't know I don't know how long it's been since I've followed up flat bench with a decline but we did that today and you know now I feel strong I fatigued on the second set so I know my body is telling me that I'm hitting some different muscle fiber that I'm used to hitting so uh, that's pretty much what we did today yeah, I noticed uh, let's let's talk about those crazy dips you guys did I haven't done dips yet. last time I've done dips were uh, when I was down in uh, Metroflex with Branch Warren we were doing the chain dips and that was you know two weeks out three weeks out from the North American Championships but uh, I figured, you know, same thing. I haven't done dips in six, done eight months. Years. You haven't done them in years. You know, years. Yeah. Well, not waiting like that, you know. Of course, following this guy, <laughs> that's one of the things you're saying is that, you know, well, I push him in certain ways. He definitely pushes me in a lot of ways. He's a lot stronger than me. Makes me want to, you know, push myself to try to catch up to him, you know. And uh, I think as long as I'm not trying to pass him up, he'll be all right, you know. He, he gets pretty aggressive. I don't want him to. I tell him, I said, don't try to pass me up because that's when you'll get hurt. Keep trying to push yourself. You know, I, I've never had the you know the benefit of having someone to push me through my whole life. I mean, my brother was two years older than me. You know, I was always stronger than him. So I never had anyone to push me in the gym. First time I went to a gym at 18 years old, I was the strongest guy in there. So not to, it's not bragging. It's just you know I'm just genetically of strong. So I, I'd love to have someone push you in different ways. It could be pushing you mentally, psych psychologically. It doesn't necessarily have to be with the weights. It could be, you know, mess with your head a little bit, you know. Say, hey, last week you got that for 10. What's wrong? You're getting weak? You know, little things like that. I don't take that to heart, you know. Well, like exactly what you just said. Like, little things like that can make a big difference. Okay. Absolutely. Like I said in another interview one time, I was training with this guy, and he could bench 315 for eight reps. You put 405 on, he couldn't do it. And it wasn't about, you know, couldn't do the weight. It was a mental block in his head. So we were out the following weekend, and some girl he was talking to, and he thought, you know, he was, you know, finding himself a new girlfriend. She blew him off. So next day in the gym, two days later, Monday, I said, we're getting ready to do that set. And I said, come on, throw four or five on. He goes, ah, I can't do it, I can't do it. I said, you know what? I said, that's just like you. You're nothing but a failure. You're nothing going to be but a failure the rest of your life. That girl didn't want your number because you ain't got no job. You ain't got, you got a tore up car. I get him all pissed off. He blew out that 405 for two reps. So I got in his head. Afterwards, you know, I was just, hey, I'm messing with you. But yeah, that's your so biggest. That's you get in someone's head. A lot of people can't get past that mental barrier of training, you know, to block it out. Exactly. You know? That's the most powerful tool, tool we have. Yeah, the most powerful tool you have is, you know, is turning into the Hulk, you know? The Hulk gets a little mad and you know, he's tearing himself apart, tearing his clothes off. So it's pretty much the same thing, you know, you can, uh, you know, uh, people have written it to me also and said, how do you get into that tunnel vision? How do you, you know, acquire that? That's, that's, that's really a gift, you know? You can train yourself through, whether it's yoga, meditation, whatever, but I think it's, an, you know, as Kai Green had said in his new DVD, which I had the privilege of seeing recently, the best part of there is he came out and he quoted and, um, he quoted Ronnie Coleman. He said that uh, you know if, the, if the, there's there's something inside of you, the animal, everyone has that aggression inside of them. Whether it's where, where you drive that from, that brings out that anger in you. Anyone who trains with heavy weights has some sort of inner anger, drive, something that they can pull from that you know gives them that craziness to get underneath the 800 pound squat. You know, it's not you, there's something wrong with you. If you can get underneath there and keep a straight head, 
You know, so you have to you have to pull from the energy within and to to overcome that. It's, you know, it takes a little while to learn that. You know, I'm a little nuts. I've always been a little nuts. So my mother said I had a little short fuse when I was younger. So that's so really fueled you up for the stuff you do now. So something like you said, sometimes yeah, it's good. Pops out, you know, it's it's, uh, uh, it's hard to explain. You know, a lot of people say, well, why is he all these theatrics in the gym? I don't train like that all the time. But when I'm going for a very high intense workout, you have to. You can't sit around and bullshit and have Britney Spears playing in the background. We put on some crazy shit. And, you know, I won't talk much. It's, you know, a little motivation, but there's no talking. It's not like, hey, buddy, what are you doing after the gym? No, it's like, come on, get that fucking weight up. That's the only talking we're doing. It's not about... Hey, bro, what are you doing this weekend? What are you doing? You know, well, look at that girl over there. There's no women. The only women that are in here is here with her, you know, man. It's not like that. So this is a, a great gym I come to, and Rob uh, and I have, you know, gelled pretty well together, and it's, you know, going pretty well so far. So Awesome. Good stuff, guys. So uh, Rob is, uh, like I said, is the junior nationals he's getting ready for. So uh, look out for him this year. I think he's going to, you know, do some damage. He's put on a, I mean, he's off season now, and you see him, the guy's ripped. He's one of those hard gainers. He's, oh, I'm off season. I'm gaining some weight. What are you talking about? You got freaking striations in your chest. What do you mean off season? So me, I'm a little fat. I'm 260, but I'm a little fat. But that's all right. It's all good. Uh, it's all good. That's right, guys. Okay. So let's, let's look at the gym now. Let's let's see what happens.